What time is it for you? It's like one ten in the morning. I gotta get off. Yeah, dude. Alright, hey, see you around, man. Yep. So Activision is full of crap, and Treyarch is trailing right behind him. All that crap we've had to deal with today. Yeah. And I still haven't tried Poor Honor. One of these days. One of these days. I recommend. I'm jump on them. I recommend you, uh. Well, actually, never mind. If we, if, you, if you're gonna play for right. honor, play it first without me. I don't want to have to drag you down with all that sweaty shit that I have to deal with on a daily basis. I'm not even that high of a level, really? and I get fucking put up with people like 60 prestiges above me. You gotta be kidding. Literally, like every 20 levels, you go up one reputation. That's basically a prestige, except you don't lose anything. It's just a reputation, you know. So it starts over right. at level 1, and your reputation 1, then you go all the, way to, all the way to 20, and then your reputation 2, level 1, you know? Every yeah, time you go so up reputation, just... you get better gear. Alright. But then you yeah. get put up against higher, My, higher but it, like, it places points. me, because it's because I'm a low level, but I'm good. Hmm. It's not depend, it doesn't do the matchmaking based on your level. It bases it on your skill and like your play style. Oh, really? So like, mm. I'm level, yeah, but like but rarely. rarely. It's bullshit. Because, um, I get put up against. I'm a I'm a reputation one, like level nine. I get placed with people who are a reputation sixty, with one character. Oh, wow. Yeah, not like reputation sixty total. Reputation sixty with one character. And so reputation, basically... like rep, you have an overall reputation for your profile, okay. but for individual okay. characters, it tracks reputation. You're joking. Yes. Oh, I'm not joking. Um, yeah. Literally, like, reputation 60 is the max for, like, one character. You go to a different character, the little, they're level zero. Zero reputation. And wow. you work on that one. Literally every character can go up to reputation 60 and there's like what 20 heroes hmm. 21 heroes Yeah, I guess something like that I honestly have no like idea. Like four, five, four That's nine another four. Oh six. I'm what am I what am I talking about? There's 21 base plus the Chinese. Yes, that's 24 right there. Hmm. Or 25, I mean. There's 25 heroes in there, and each of them can go up to reputation 60. And there's gonna be extra, because of the... Wow. So, for as long as the game has been out, all these people that are running around with reputation 60 and stuff, that's only... Like, one character. One character. You could... Yeah. It would take... If you played nothing but that game, it'd probably take you five or six years to get reputation 60 with all characters. Jesus. And I'm getting placed with these people that have had this game since it came out. Mm. My little brother's been playing it ever since he got it for free game. And he's yeah. a reputation, what, 8? Almost a reputation 8. Wow. Nice. The funny thing is, me and my little brother, even though he's played it way yeah. longer than I am, he's only slightly better than I am at the game. Right? Okay. Me and him get placed against, placed up with the same people, and he's a whole seven reputations higher than I am. Mm. It's bullshit. I have to like work hard from the very beginning. I can't have easy games. Which is why I'm glad that they have an option that you can just play games against AI. Ah, uh, yeah. Since yeah, basically. Yeah, so basically what you're saying, it's Black Ops 4's initial matchmaking, but on crack. And yes. heroin. While smoking pot. It's like, it's it's like Call of Duty, if Call of Duty had 60 prestiges. Mm. Instead of just 10. And, like, you could talk about all the shitty people that 
are shitty things that people do on Call of Duty and first-person shooters, like whether it be drop shotting or camping in corners or jump shotting or doing uh, jump shotting around corners and stuff, all that stuff. Yeah. Sitting in the corner with the SMG, all that scummy stuff. Yeah. There are people on For Honor that are maxed out with a character, and they spam the same attack four or five times in one um, fight in until what, the person in dies. What sort of stem on here? Yeah, yeah. They'll like there's guys that have like attacks that are literally like uninterruptible. Like you cannot cancel the attacks, and they only have like you two button. Them. They only have like two button inputs to do that combo. And they'll do it like three or four times. They'll like stun you so that you're dazed, knock you over on the ground, jump up, stab you in the fucking stomach. Then you yeah. get up, and then they fucking punch you in the face again and stun you, and then they knock you over and then stab you in the fucking stomach a second time. And they'll do it for like a, two or like two more times until you're dead. Yeah, I've seen. Yeah, yeah I've seen some some of that on YouTube. It's so bad. It's so scummy and spammy, and like, it makes me sad that there are people that are maxed out with certain characters, and that's all that they do. Like, how do they not get bored with themselves? <laughs> you got me. I can't even look at the trophies because I haven't even started up the game yet. That's almost that's, that's almost as bad as people cheating in games and then getting satisfaction. Really? It's just people find exploits. Yeah, they these... like they just get like they find this formula that works and then like rarely, rarely lets them down and they do nothing but that and then they just like stomp on people and, and like, then when like let's be real. Them, let's be real. For you. Honor For Honor is a solid game, right? Triple A developer, yeah. Ubisoft, they put a lot of work into it, right? It's yeah. fucking two years old now. It's two years yeah. old now. And people are just steaming. They're just sitting in this game, like, steaming in a pot. Waiting for new people to come in. They're like, oh my god, it's the free game of the month. Oh my god, all these noobs are going to come into this game. I'm just going to wreck all of them. Like, Remember, dude. they were doing the same thing with Christmas noobs in Black Ops 4. Well, that's Me every year. That's every year. Yeah. But, like, at that, that point, that people that same, got the game right same. when it came out, their only experience with that game is, like, two months. Mm. On For Honor, they've been playing this shit for two years with, like, one mm. character. And then to noobs come in for free games in the month. To get curb stomped, really. And then they spam the same bullshit move on a person that doesn't even know how to block. What does that say about today's and have, gaming? And then they act like they have all the skill in the world. Yeah, and then they like spend all their damn in-game currency on these fucking cosmetic stupid ass shit. Like the emotes and like, to taunt people. Like they got e emotes, executions, effects. And like, me and my brother, will like come across people who are high level and shit. And they'll just be spamming these emotes and doing these same executions. We're like, yeah, yeah, look at this fucking edgelord over here. <laughs> and a lot of people will buy, even if they're like terrible at the game, a lot of people will buy like effects and stuff. And that's such a waste. They're so garbage. Mm. They're so garbage. They spend all this money to look good. With a character that they're not even good at. They're so bad. Oh my god. For Honor actually pisses me off like more than any other game at the moment. It's so <laughs> annoying. More than any other game. Yeah, literally. Like, I'll rant about Call of Duty, but it goes on for like five minutes. I could rant about For Honor for an hour. It's so stupid. Yeah. Sounds to me like you're like. For honor to you, what GTA Online is for me, pretty much. Like, GTA Online was bad, and the people on that game were bad, but like... They were a bunch of assets. <laughs> yeah. Really. But... And Rockstar did nothing but encourage him to but screw... But like, like, like... 
my only problem with like GTA that's probably worse with For Honor is that Rockstar rewarded the the assholes with more asshole items to mess with yep. people who are just trying to do stuff the legit way when all they yep. have to do and is they... pay them directly to get new stuff. Yeah. In For Honor, Coming at least like when people pay for stuff, <laughs> it doesn't give them like an immediate advantage, you know? Yeah. Well, I don't wait, really? So it's just so you can buy any of the like the different equipment like item changing stuff like on weapons that have only the thing stats. that like would give you like an, an immediate advantage over another person if is it is if you just straight up bought with real money like a new hero that nobody knows how okay. to like counter nobody yet. knows how to counter yeah but gta is like like, oh, all the look at this, look at this, look at the, uh, check out the brand new Mark II Oppressor. And they're like, oh my god, that's so fucking awesome, I'm gonna splurge $60, fucking, oh my god. And then they buy the Mark II Oppressor, and then they just terrorize all these people that are just trying to make Dude, money in the slow-ass legit way. Yeah. And the thing is though, one of them It's just sucks, like, it's so weird. One. It's like it's an actual, it's a mirror of like actual real, real life society. Where the yeah. rich are stomping on the poor people. Yeah. Dude, I got, okay, I got killed by this guy with in a deluxe when I was in my terabyte, right? I deleted this little, these short little clips, but yeah, I got killed by the guy because he spammed missiles at me. Guess what, guess what he does as he's flying away? Just hovering in that rinky dink freaking... Rockstar Games aircraft flying away way. That horn that goes. Doo -doo 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 oh my god. I oh wanted my to god. jump. I, I want to freaking jump through my TV, into the internet, out his TV, and just freaking curb stomp him over into his fucking floor. Crap. <laughs> Dude, but I'm just saying it pissed me off. It's so much. That Rockstar did nothing. People's, people are nothing so. Oh my god. But like, encourage the most toxic behavior, and then they complain about fucking glitches. I swear. People do money glitches, and what do they do? They patch it like clockwork. Glitches that break the game in half get left for a well over like two for years. The and then what that, do they do with oh the Mark II Oppressor? They give it a buff! They pass the speed glitch, but then buff its top speed to about where it was before. So what was the point? It makes me so mad. Like, I swear every year new games come out. The games get better, but I get... I, I start enjoying games less and less. Because it's the pessimism setting in from all the greedy ones that are screwing over everybody. The consumers, the people actually developing the games. Dude, okay. I I'm going to be gonna so say, far less I'm... frustrated with Sekido when that comes out than For Honor and damn Black Ops in like mm -hmm. their first months.